And I talk a lot about that with my patients, about strategies, about, um, you know, having a sort of almost like a, a, mm. a, a card system of, you know, um, or a traffic light system of, you know, you're, you're having a, a good, bad or ugly day. Yeah. Or right. Trying to, you know, we've talked about, um, I, um, I'm currently working in Lewisham Granite Trust and I spoke to our psychologist about this ahead of this talk and um, something that one of her patients did was a weekly um, email to all of her friends, like a round robin, just giving an update um, saying, you know, where she was at with treatment or what she wanted or how she was feeling so that she wasn't having to constantly um, say, yeah. you know, and mm. actually um, for some for some people, they want to have daily updates or thinking of you. Other people just, you know, don't feel comfortable with that. Yeah. And I think, mm. and it's hard, and I, I've said I this before, that, but you might feel differently all in, all in a day, but um, I think to try and let people know what's working for you or what isn't yes. is, is helpful for the yeah. for the team around you whoever yeah, that may be definitely i felt that for me being open and honest was yeah. my way forward and my yeah. sister who's been a rock throughout was really a driving force for that we set up a blog where i could just put it on there and then i didn't feel like i had to go into the playground and mm. bring something up because yeah. if people wanted to talk about it because i've put it out there if they wanted to say well, I've seen your blog, is everything okay? Then they can, if they don't, they don't. It's not so awkward. Mm. Um, and I also like, so with the uncertainty, you do want an answer. I do want you to say to me, you've got 29 days or whatever, or 29 years, but you can't have that. And what I really liked, again, with my sister is, um, when I was having my original chemo, it, she knew that every first Thursday in that first week, mm. so every three weeks on a Thursday, that she would get a phone call and I would be screaming and shouting at her, crying, and I didn't want her to to tell me anything new, I no. just wanted her to listen, and she all would always say to me, I know it's rubbish, I know none of us know how long we've got, rather than saying, it's going to be alright, oh, yeah. yes. it's going to be okay. And don't you find the silver linings and things, no. we have the need, I think it's just human nature to try and, you know, I'm a nurse, hands up, I'm a fixer, you know, I always try and fix things, but actually pause, stop. Yeah. Sometimes just don't say anything. Mm. And actually, you know, that I don't appreciated and, her honesty yeah. as well. Yeah, that absolutely. I know I'm feeling it too, rather yeah. than I think you're going to be okay. Absolutely. Just saying it, but she, you know, I could feel that she felt exactly the same pain and that was in some twisted way of comfort yeah mm. um because and that's when was going through it alone yeah and that's when do you know what it's shit really helps yeah. <laughs> oh, just being able to acknowledge just like give permission to feel and i think that hopefully we are better as nurses and doctors at just acknowledging that and just yes. letting all of us own how we're feeling because yes. i think um yeah just it's human nature to try and find um, an answer, an answer, or a reason, <laughs> yeah. or a solution, or you know, um, to make sense. But you can't make sense of this. No. There, it's it's there, there is nothing to make sense of of, of what you're mm -hmm. going yeah. through. Um, and I think that obviously, well, I'm sure we'll talk more about social media. But in a way, that's that's a, a, a a, a good outlet isn't yes, it that you absolutely. can just do a brain dump it's and a heart up a dump whole world and of, yeah. you know have you seen that advert recently just you open the chest and it's all these different words coming you just you get it out there yeah. and you don't necessarily have to um have a response you can yes. just put it there and mm. then it's and, and leave then it's it there. and walk away yeah we've got have we got a question got a before question. um how have your parents coped with your diagnosis Sarah? um that may make me emotional. Um, my parents have been amazing. They are my rocks. They just, I I, you can see I can't get my words out. They're fantastic. Mm. The hardest thing is watching them suffer. Nobody wants to see their children suffer and that, that's really hard, but they've been amazing. And I, I think you never know how strong you are until you are in a situation. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just fantastic. Mm. My dad, they're both retired. My dad retired 
when I was diagnosed and he comes to every appointment and he is my memory, he's my diary, he's my <laughs> chauffeur, he's everything. You know, yes. they both are. They're, they're, I'm very grateful to them and love them very, very, very much. Mm. <laughs> I've got one more question, which is Sorry? How, um, how is your husband coping? Um, that is a tough one. It's very hard, um, particularly at the minute. Things are really tricky. Um, and I think somebody mentioned something to me yesterday called anticipated grief, um, where you're grieving already for something that's going to happen. And I mm. think that is happening to both of us at the minute. And I think it, it's hard because seeing anybody around you, close to you, so hurt and broken and upset and you can't help them, it's almost harder the other way around as well because mm. I'm getting treatment, I'm getting a lot of support. People ask me if I'm okay, but for them, it's very mm. diff different, different, so. Have you found things that you, that you, like you, you're able to try, well, would like to do to support them? Because I know that's the thing of, I mean, I have with my partner of going, actually, like when you were so, fo like you are trying to be well, but actually know that, yeah. that person. And like, are there, is it about being open conversation? I think, it's the openness and the honesty because um, things will go wrong and somebody, you know, your partner, your, your family might ask you a question and you want to scream at them, but they don't mean to, they're just trying to help. And mm. I think it's about being open and honest and that gives them more of an opportunity and makes it a lot easier for them to understand it's not the right time or yes. it's not the right day or this is, this is the right time to mm. ask or do or whatever else. So. That's where it's the cards the open, may help in yeah. a family. Yes. You know, like, not now, or yeah. just let's talk about this later, or yeah. it's a good day. You know, some sometimes it, there might just be, even if it's just, an, uh, you know, a, a few hours where you just, you're, you're having a good day. I think for, for people that describe they're having a good day and they don't want anyone to talk about it, like, you know, it's in the background, but you don't. Yeah. I think as well. You could, you um, could make that into a game, actually. You could have, yeah. in, in, like, with your, if you have small children, you could, you know, have everyone has their own cards or, you know, mm. it, it, it can, it can. Really I be think powerful. as well, going back to my parents, what you said is they always have in the forefront of their mind, Sarah's poorly. So when I am snapping at them and I'm being intolerant and I'm being an absolute pain in the bum, it's in the forefront of their mind that this isn't Sarah, it's, you know, mm. it's additional factors. Probably isn't always, but yeah, <laughs> I'm course. grateful for their logic. Yeah. So the last question is, you've done an amazing manual, haven't you? Um, a practical thing for your family. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, just um, written down, because as a mum, I think you take control, don't you, and dominate <laughs> life and, you know, this is what they're going to wear today and this is what they're going to do today. And, and naturally in a couple, I find that I do dominate that and perhaps I should back off sometimes, but I don't know, I'm a <laughs> woman, I like to be in control. Um, so I was worried that there was going to be loads of things that my my partner wouldn't have a clue about because I just do them naturally. You know, you get the school uniform ready the night before. So it was things like that, writing that down to, to support him and help him and enable him to carry on um, in the easiest way possible, mm. really. So just talking about, oh, you know, different things in the future of when they, when I would have hoped they would have a mobile phone or when I would have preferred for them to have this and that obviously I can't control it and times change but That's good, yeah. you know no boyfriends till 30 <laughs> <laughs> you know something I wanted to um ask and we had said this before I know um patients have said this to me before that when they're going through something like this they'll they feel that their friends around them or people around them won't be able to won't want to burden them with what's going on in their lives yeah. and have you experienced that all do you yes. do you you know like oh it's nothing like what you're going yeah. through so, but it's <laughs> there that yeah. because yeah. my response is you're supporting me i'm supporting you this is a friendship it's yeah. a two-way street just because you haven't got cancer and you're moaning or you're upset because mm. your husband didn't put the toilet seat down doesn't make it any less significant yeah. you know 
that's what's upsetting you at the minute. Yeah. Okay, if it's a toilet seat, move on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, everybody's got problems and, and that will never stop just mm. because, and I hate it when people say, oh, it's nothing compared to what you're going through. It mm. is because it's upsetting yeah, you, just like relative. my situation yeah. is upsetting me. Yeah. So it's important. I don't want people to avoid that. Mm. It's when we play top trump, so I always like to describe it, that yeah. in the cancer world, there's very much a top trump game that goes, and sometimes you feel that like your your issue is perhaps not as worse as the other person's, but the reality is, is that top trumps mm. is a ridiculous game yeah. because everyone responds to their own things yeah. in their own, own way. Yeah.